Hi guys, it's Sharon J. Bainbridge here from Butterfly Lullaby and the date is 11th October 2019 and here I've made some Japanese knotweed paper. So as you can see here, I framed it, um, it's on my blog. I painted the bee on handmade paper and I did different types, so I did different techniques of paper making with this plant. And here you can see here, I did some here with um, rice with the heart. I used the actual plant as well. But the exciting news here is overseas, they're actually creating Japanese knotweed paper on a commercial level. And this is what we need to do in the UK. Instead of actually using poisons, toxic poisons to try and uh, you know kill the plant off we should be using this plant to create jobs i really hope that people will you know go to their mps and say to them look what are you doing why are we you know promoting monsanto you know making them rich by buying their pesticides when we can actually use this plant dig up the root i use a root for my smoothies it's used for lyme disease curing lyme disease it's got very, it's got a lot of um, medical benefits, many patents as well. Um, I've done lots of research, which you can find on my Butterfly Lullaby blog. So, um, whoops, I'm just scrolling down too fast here. We can also create electricity with this plant. So, you know, it's never ending. I've actually done a little mind map as well, if I go up here, of all the different things we can create with Jeppy's Knotweed. Face oil, which I use, I use the natural soap, um, and I'm hoping to help families uh, feed families by trading these soaps and uh, for food, so we can feed families. Because a lot of families out there that are struggling, um, bath soap. What else have we got? Smoothie mix, which I do, um, and I have that on a daily basis, and I find it really beneficial to my health. It helps my asthma. Ice cubes, uh, tea, Itadori tea, wine. I made some wine, and it was really, really quite delicious. I don't really drink. Um, my partner doesn't drink, but he absolutely loved this, and my neighbour loved it as well. Honey, um, you know. This Japanese knotweed honey actually won an award in America. Jam, chutney, medicine, resveratrol, as I mentioned, green electricity, paper, bamboo clothing, flutes, um, even Lego bricks. You know, Lego are now using sugar cane to create bricks. Well, I believe they can use Japanese knotweed because that's a cane as well. So there's so many options here to use this plant instead of actually you know i think at the moment people are dumping having to pay lots and lots of money to dump japanese knotweed um because they're not allowed to dump it anywhere else they're not allowed to put it in recycling etc it's costing the you know taxpayer loads of money to get rid of this plant plus the amount of money wasted on you know pesticides that are really really dangerous and bad for our health so please, please, you know, look into this, do your research. My friend in America, well, last year, a lady from America contacted me and asked to buy my Japanese knotweed from me. This is when it was organic, before my neighbour started using toxic pesticides to get rid of their knotweed, which was coming into my garden. And um, But I sent her some for free, some dried knotweed for free, and she started growing this knotweed. She found it over, um, I think, in a friend's garden. And she dug it up. She started planting it in her own garden in the USA. It's so different out there at the moment. You know, they look more into herbal medicines and plants and the benefits they have on her health. So, yeah, she's growing this. And um, she's going to be using it in her herbal medicines. So here we have, you know... Green electricity, that's something that we really, really should be doing. You know, we're meant to be saving the planet. So why are we wasting money on these pesticides when we should be saving the planet? So, yeah, I mean, there's loads to talk about, loads to debate. So 
Is there anything else here? Let's have a look. Sorry about being so slow here on the computer. It's a new computer. I'm just getting to grips with it. Not very good with the mouse. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. It's going up. But anyway, that's it. So, yeah, please leave me a comment below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any information on plants, I've got a gardening group as well, which, um, oops, it's flicked off. <laughs> Where's it gone? Yeah, I've got a gardening group on Facebook. Let me just see. Uh, oh, that's a little drawing my daughter did on the Japanese knotweed with her little bumblebee. It's just a quickie. And there's information about resveratrol, which is in Japanese knotweed. So it's worth looking at. Um... I'm just trying to find it. Here it is. Just flicked up there too far. There. It's my organic gardening group. And it's called... I keep forgetting what it's called. Hang on. The Free Organic Gardening and Foraging Club on Facebook. There you go. So, you know, please, you know, join my group. You know, I want to encourage people to trade plants, seeds, etc. And get people gardening. And I'm hoping to sort of grow tomatoes again next year. So, yeah. Hope to make friends with you guys and uh, chat to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.